Are we ready for this? Oh! Remember this little badger that we made? Quite a while ago now. This was actually number two <laughs> in the collection. Now, this is what it used to look like. Yeah, I know. Not the greatest project. Uh, didn't really turn out the way I really liked it, but so I've been looking at it. It's just sat in my shed and I'm looking at it and I think to myself, I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look more funky. And I think we're going to add some resin. So I just had this on the lathe and I didn't realise it wasn't actually filming. <laughs> So I've already sort of stuck it on the lathe there and started to turn away the burr that was sticking out the edge there. Um, then realised it wasn't filming. But anyway, we didn't get too far. So <laughs> what I thought we'd do then is try and cast this in some resin. Uh, maybe some nice colours in there if we can. Uh, or maybe we just keep it black. Hmm, nah. <laughs> and just see if we can really funk this up and make this look a little bit better than it did in the first place. Right, that is it. We're going to stick this in the pressure pot now. That's one beastie bowl. <laughs> uh, and leave it overnight. Let's do this. My name is Jeff. Are we ready for this? Oh! <laughs> okay. This is looking a bit more pink than I kind of imagined. But, hmm. Strange. Well, I suppose mixing white and red does give you pink. <laughs> okay, well, this could be be pretty funky after all um, but I'm pleased that it's kind of yeah set quite well um, let's see if we can pop this out of it let's see what we got right she's popped out hmm I mean if I'm honest, I was kind of hoping for a bit more kind of separation in the colors but we don't know what it's going to be like until we kind of get inside the nitty gritty but um it's definitely going to look a lot better than it, it did originally anyway <laughs> let's get this on the lathe and we'll see what we can make <laughs> okay people we've got this funky pink thing to turn and do something really weird with so 
Um, it's a little bit wobbly, and and I think initially I probably should have flipped the piece and put it in the other way round uh, because this looks like it should be the bowl that side, but actually it's the other way round. If that makes any sense at all, no, it doesn't, Nick. So as you can see, we're getting quite a lot of chip out on this. Uh, I'm not too sure why that is happening. It has happened to me before on many occasions, but not this bad. Um, I don't know if the resin is set properly or or what really, but um, it really hurts. That's why I've had to put these gloves on because the chip out is just stinging my hands. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna carry on, but normally with this chip out, whoop, hello. Uh, normally, hello, come on. <laughs> normally with this chip out, what you can do is just trying to take lighter passes, um, smoother passes, and, and then you can sort of avoid it. Um, that's what I tend to find, you know, not be so aggressive with it. But um, I'm trying that and it's not working. So um, at the moment, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna carry on. Might change tool, might try a traditional tool in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get back on it! See, we've still got quite a bit of chip out, but it's getting better. Um, there's quite a bit here. We've also got quite a large crack here as well. Again, I don't know how that's really happened, really. So I'm unsure whether I mixed up the mi mixed up whether I mixed up the resin differently. Um, so I don't know, but um, <sighs> we're going to keep trying to turn this anyway and try to we can fix these these holes later on anyway. I have to put a bit more resin in it, so I'm just going to keep trying to finish this we're going to put a uh, tenon in here so we can flip it over but uh, yeah a little bit odd but we'll see Okay, so you can see that we've now made a bit of progress. We've taken a lot of the chips out and all the little dents and stuff, and we've started to make it a lot smoother. Let me give you a close-up. So as you can see now from what it was earlier on, when it was like bits everywhere, chipping out all over the place, um, this is now starting to form, um, and I've just basically taken really smooth cuts, uh, and I've used a bit of traditional tooling as well on this, a big old bowl gouge, as you can see, and um, and that's really helped out, I think. Um, we've still got to, to contend with this crack here, and we've also got another big crack there. God damn! That is a big crack. So we're going to have to probably fill that up with a bit of um, resin. So I might do that. Mm. Mm, not too sure. Might have to do that now and get that there. Leave that to set overnight before we carry on 
flipping this over because if I start to hollow this out, that might just take a big chunk out of that by you guys sort of hollowing that out and then it might just explode and that'll be it. It will be gone. So I might sort of try and just finish this back end off. <laughs> I might finish the bottom of the bowl um, and then um, and then we can then uh, get ready to flip it over. Yeah, that's what we'll do. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> just look at this wood. I mean, this is what we do this for. So this is pretty neat, huh? Um, and um, I think I knew that this piece had some really great character in it. And I think there it is, look at that. Hey, look at that. I mean, that's not even shined up yet. So um, I've sanded it back, 80 grit. Uh, it's got all these kind of like markings in it and then it's got the resin kind of like just running through into uh, these areas which is really quite cool. Now obviously the big problem we've got here is you've got this big crack here and this big crack here and here. <laughs> so we've got three large cracks here which is not nice and when we start to hollow this out that's just going to blow up and, and, and just fall to pieces. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up some more resin and I reckon black is gonna look quite nice in there, I think. That's gonna look quite cool running through there. I'm gonna nip, 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 up, nip up some black resin. <laughs> and, uh, right, hang on a minute. I'm going to knock up some black resin and uh, we're gonna put that in there and leave it overnight. Quite funnily, actually, somebody said on my channel, Nick, why can't you be normal? Stop being so silly messing about on your channel. I can be normal. So this is how far we have got with this project. Now I'm going to knock up some resin. I'm going to mix some black in it and then we're going to smooth it all over the bowl and we're going to leave it overnight. We shall come back in the morning to see how that has done. Then we can carry on and finish the project. Right, so I've got to fill in these cracks. Now, it's going to be quite hard to get resin in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of this badger stuff. Milliput. Haven't used this in quite some time, actually. So uh, I thought it might be quite a good opportunity to bring this out. Now, what it is, is a two-part uh, epoxy putty. Uh, and you can get various different colours. This is a black one. Uh, now, you get two bits in there, and I've just chopped them up. Uh, we'll do a bit more of a project on this later on, but just for now, basically there's two bits of uh, epoxy and then here they are here. You just basically cut them up equal amounts and then you've just got to keep kneading it and kneading it until it makes one colour. Okay, so that's basically mixing up the, the epoxy putty. I should be wearing gloves, so I apologise for that uh, and I've started now, so... <laughs> What's the point is me putting them on now? Uh, so I'm going to just mix this up and then what we're going to do is we're going to push this into the holes that we've got here. Uh, we may have to do this again once we hollow this out because there may be a crack all the way through. I'm probably not going to be able to get it all in uh, down to the bottom, but we'll see. And this will go off hard overnight. There. That's basically what it is. And now we're going to stuff it in the cracks. <laughs>
Okay, there we go, folks. That is all in there now. Stuffed it in there. So we'll leave that overnight and then uh, we should be able to come back and finish this. Although we may need to put some more of this, like I said earlier, once we've hollowed out the inside. But this is looking really nice. I do like this. This is going to turn out much better. <laughs> Okay, folks, check this out. So this is looking pretty nice. Look at the features in this. This is looking beautiful. So this is all um, turned out pretty well. Uh, we've got our milli put in there and that's covered up the cracks pretty nicely. Um, we have got a little bit there, but we can deal with that because obviously we've got to hollow this out. So that might, might only leave a little small edge there. There's the other big crack that we had and that's gone and that's going to polish up really nice. Look at this. Hey, <laughs> right now, this is the fun part. So we're going to stick some cellulose sanding cedar on this bad boy uh, and just watch this baby pop out. <laughs> front row seats, guys, front row seats. Ray, this is looking fine. Right, look at this, folks. This is looking pretty sweet, huh? Hey, Bootiful, as they would say. <laughs> right, so what we've got to do now, unfortunately, obviously these cracks, as we probably uh, would have thought anyway, have come through uh, right the way through. Um, so we're gonna to have to do the same again. So we're gonna to have to fill them up with some milliput um, and leave that overnight. So, um, but don't worry, that is not gonna be overnight for you. We'll be back on it quicker than you can say. Ispikisiasalala pola ala docious. Huh? Expicala fragilistic. Expicala fragilistic. Expiala docious. Something like that, anyway. Now the milliput is ready, we can start to smither this in the bowl.
Now that is what we are talking about. I don't often blow my own trumpet, but today I am. Now this was the old number two emblem, which kind of <laughs> didn't really work out really that well, was it? The project was rubbish uh, that I did. And um, I never really, I kept looking at it uh, on the side and I thought, you know what? That was such a bum project that I did. It didn't really work out very well. And I kind of gave up on it, I think. And, and just thought, that'll do. <laughs> and the more I looked at it, I thought, no way, I'm not having that as my number two project. No, no, Nick. So I made this instead. <laughs> now that I think is pretty funky. <laughs> if I say so myself. And you know, initially when I was mixing the, the resin up with the red and the white, I wasn't really thinking that that was gonna make pink. <laughs> but obviously when you start thinking about it, of course it does. <laughs> but actually, and I pulled it out of the pot and I thought, oh, I was kind of expecting kind of like red and white, not really thinking that that was going to make pink, but obviously it does. But actually, the, 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 the colour of this actually looks really cool. And you can still see the white in there. You've got the white kind of like mist um, sort of like floating around in there. Uh, and then he's got the sort of like the darker sort of effect at the bottom, but still the white in there as well. What I am going to do is I'm going to put some resin on this and leave this overnight um, just to, to seal that in. I've, I'll put that in with a bit of super glue at the moment, but I'll just put a dabble of, of resin over that. So it gives it a little bit of a, I don't know, more secure feature. Sometimes the, the, the emblems that were sealed in with super glue, they tend to kind of like, well, fall out. <laughs> but obviously if it's got some resin in it, that ain't going no way. Um, so what do you reckon, folks? What do you reckon? Come on. This has got to be a pretty good looking project, right? <laughs> I know recently some of my projects have been a bit all over the place and, you know, and I, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate that you guys have come here initially for the, the wood turning stuff you know, and the resin making and stuff. And then I go and chuck in um, a metal necklace. <laughs> uh, and, and I suppose some of you are going, what's this? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> um, and I, I get that, but I, I also just want to kind of mix up my abilities and try to mix up my abilities, is that right? I want to try different things, um, but I'm not going to change my channel into forging channel, guys, don't worry. So don't go nowhere. Um, it's not going to be a forging channel. It's not going to be a restoration channel either. But every now and again, I just wanted to just chuck those in just because I think it mixes the channel up a little bit, but also gives me the kind of chance to kind of try new things. Um, but it, you'll always see all this sort of stuff. There's going to be more, more of this stuff, content coming, um, funky stuff you know, bowl turning, mixing up resin stuff, experiments, all that sort of stuff. Now, I know a lot of you will say, look, Nick, you know, do what you want on your channel. And I know, and I understand that, but you know, I'm also conscious of the fact that, you know, you come over here for this kind of stuff. And I want to give you more of this back because you are obviously sticking with me and building my channel, which I really do appreciate. Um, and it's all about you guys. It's not about me. Certainly not. Well, a little bit. Um, but... <laughs> But obviously, you know, um, I want to give you guys what you want. You know, that's that's the whole point of these channels that everyone makes is they make them and create this content for you guys. And that's what we do. You know, as much as I love this as what I do is my hobby, and it is my hobby, uh, although, 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 got some news for you folks, got some news. This is going to be my full-time job very soon. <laughs> um, so um, I'm going to go into YouTube full time so I can create some more real cool funky things but also we're gonna I'm gonna be linking that into Maker Central as well and I want to be bringing some content for you on Maker Central so look out for that um, also may have some news for you guys and girls soon as well on Maker Central 2020 <laughs> it just might be coming so hang fire hold tight well, you may see this ship rise again um, but I'm not going to announce it just yet, but it'll be soon, very soon. If you don't know about Maker Central, check out the link below and 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 uh, and hold tight because there will be some news coming soon uh, about the show and about some of the other things that we're going to be doing for you guys in the community. Now I know some of you are not interested in Maker Central, I get that, but some of you, a lot of you, are. 
And uh, if you are interested in Make Essential and want to come up and meet with creators, makers from all over the world, uh, we will... <laughs> I'm kind of giving this away a little bit, really, aren't I? Um, but um, we put on a show called Make Essential at the NEC in the UK, uh, and we quite possibly <laughs> will be doing this again for you guys next year. Um, but I'm not going to fully announce. Fully, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to fully announce it just yet until we've got 100% confirmation. We are 95% sure that we are going to do this, and I will allow, allow. No, I will let you know the dates as soon as possible. Anyway, back to the project. <laughs> this is a bowl with resin and burr, and it looks pretty. Funkadelic. Um, so that's it, folks. There we go. Look at that badger, eh? Whoa! Um, I do love this. I do, I do really like this. And I'm going to do some more of these because... And I should have done that in the first place. I mean, look at how the, the resin's kind of mixed in with the burr. Um, it's, it's lovely. I mean, the wood in this is awesome. I mean, I want to eat it. Mm. You'll notice that I've had a nice new haircut and a beard trim from my friends at Equinox Hairdressers. Thanks, Kerry. I think I look beautiful. So I think this is definitely a well-deserved piece for number two. You'll see it's number two there. And uh, I started getting these emblems and I've got emblems one to 100. And every time I make some something that's half decent, I put, although... <laughs> The, 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 this was in uh, uh, this other piece, obviously, as you know, that wasn't really that great. I just thought it was quite cool to just number the, some of the bits that I'm making. I'm just waffling about stuff now, and I have no idea what I'm actually talking about now. Um, anyway, Ollie still's up at the end. Uh, please check out all the links below where I get my music from is in there. If you use the link, you will be helping support the channel and helping me go full time at this also i do also have a patreon if you want to check me out there and support me thank you to all my current patreons i really do appreciate all of your support you are absolutely amazing and guys if you if you want to support me on patreon you get one-to-one -one conversations with me over there as well so if you fancy having a chat you can do that over there all the other links also please check me out on instagram i put up stories now and again pictures bits and pieces teaser stuff for when i'm doing things like this um and other links as well have a fantastic weekend i really do hope that you guys like this one i love you and leave you take care see you soon ta-ta